Ziggy. Good morning. It's Friday, January 20th. The time is 7.48 a.m. Good morning. On this day in 2006, the made-for-TV movie, High School Musical, was first released. Some people mocked it at the time, saying it was unrealistic to show teens singing and dancing that much. But spend five minutes on TikTok now, and you'll see that those critics were very wrong. Good morning everyone, it is Princess underscore Mini4 and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So today's date is Friday, January 20th, 2023 and today I am having my surgery. So I'm having three surgeries. If you see my previous videos, you know the exact name of them. I may put them on the video because I don't really know how to pronounce at least one of them, but I'm having a tummy tuck and a thigh lift, pretty much just to remove the extra skin from losing 140 pounds. So I don't know what time my surgery is, but they told me to be there at 10, 15 a.m. So I probably will record then. Uh, my bag is pretty much all packed. I just want to sit here and let my phone charge so it's up at 100. And I probably won't record, like I said, until I get back there. And at least this time I can have visitors. And this time my grandma will be back there with me. So that's what I'm happy about. Because if you remember during COVID when I had my weight loss surgery, I walked into that big old hospital by myself. I was like, oh my God. But yeah, um, I will see you guys when I see you. All right, you guys, real quick. I am in the hospital now. I just had to do a urine sample, but now I'm about to get all undressed. And yeah, I'm about to be going under for surgery. All right, you guys. So I just had to wash off my arms, my legs, and my torso front and back with these. That's your phone ringing. With these kind of sterile wipes. So, so I'm in the hospital gown and getting my butt out. But then I have this to put on my hair. Then I got my socks on and yeah so i am about to get an iv and and talk to the surgeon and then talk yeah, to the anesthesiologist yeah. and all of that all right you guys so that thing says approximate or time 105 and then she said this surgery may be about six hours i'm like what but yeah i got my little thingy on my head and then got my hospital gown and i got my little slippy socks i'm gonna put them up but yeah, I'll probably talk to you guys when I get out of surgery. It may be like seven o'clock. That's why I'm staying. That's really only why I'm staying overnight is because how late it's gonna be. Yeah. But I'll probably talk to you guys when I wake up. Hopefully I don't wake up with back pain this time because that was horrible. All right, you guys. Ooh. So I'm sitting in the bed underneath the uh, what's heating pad and a hot blanket because I was cold. So they actually got an IV in. So the fluids are going through me. I am so thirsty, it's crazy. But it seems like the surgeon is running late with another surgery, so I don't know when I'm actually gonna go back. I think it's just 12 o'clock. But yeah. But yeah, the next time I probably talk to you, be, and they said I may stay in the recovery room just overnight since it's only overnight. And like I said, it's really only overnight because of how long the surgery is. Like so if I don't get back there till two, six hours is eight, so. Yeah. But yeah, that's really all I have to say now. This IV hurts, but then again, they always do. Well, at least it's in a better spot than before, but it's still in my right hand. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Oops, I actually got it. So it's 1.15. Okay. The surgeon came in and marked my body all up. Then the nurse came in and then the anesthesiologist came in. So now I'm just waiting, I think, for them to come in and put the anesthesia in, I think. Then I'm about to go down. So it's probably gonna be more so like two o'clock. So I'll probably be out by like eight, nine. But yeah, I'm hot now. The, the, uh, the heating blanket is hot now. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I see you. I look a hot mess. Look at my mustache coming in. And they said that's from the weight loss surgery, the hormones you get like, you grow hair on your face. But yeah. Bye guys. I heard you guys, so I am out of surgery. Look at my lip. It's 
humongous. Let me see what time it is. All right, you guys, so it is 9.44 p.m. I ate one thing of ice cream. I'm eating another thing of ice cream because, you know, there's no cafeterias open. It gave me a few pills. Um, I actually got up and walked already. I went to go use the bathroom and I couldn't pee. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I'm still in the uh, recovery room. I'm probably gonna stay here all night. Just because I should be leaving like in the morning. But <clears throat> I actually don't feel half bad. It is pretty painful when you sit down. So like sitting down on the bed or sitting down on the toilet. But other than that, it's pretty tolerable. I am tired still, but um yeah i have my surgeries done i'm excited i'm happy and i'm not nauseous it's a plus i don't know why my lip is so swollen though um but yeah if i could rate the pain maybe i could uh, 7 out of 10 um, but I do it again <laughs> for my arms so my grandma just left because since I'm not in the room there's no visitors after 9 well, after 10 I think, no, I think it is after 9 so my, gra my uncle came and picked her up I'm probably going to finish this ice cream, drink a little bit of water, and then I may take a nap after, like, checking my phone and stuff. They uh, took me off the heart monitor, and I'm not hooked up, so they gave me a different IV. And I still got this one, <laughs> but I'm not hooked up to any of them, which is funny. But I went back around 2, and then I think they called me around 8, so it was 6 hours. And then again at 11, so yeah, I'll probably stay here overnight in the recovery room, which is fine. I just hope I can pee because it's uncomfortable. And yeah, walking's not too bad. So yeah, yeah, I'm tired. I'll talk to you guys when I talk to you. As you guys, so it's 10 8. And just uh, drain my drain. I'm trying to see if I can show you. I am so tired. <sighs> and emotional. Somebody in the stage got me crying. Nothing wrong with me. But I ate my second thing of ice cream. But I'm going to try to show you my incisions. So, yeah. I'm so tired y'all I'm like in and out of consciousness It's kind of crazy What's that? It hurts
Alright, you guys. I just got me some morphine. Because after going to the bathroom for a second, find the pain is pretty bad. And it's pretty much just getting up and getting back down. So they just gave me some morphine through my IV. Uh, I'm about to drink a good amount of water. And then I asked for a snack, like maybe some ice cream. And then I'm about to knock out and go to sleep. And I'll probably see you guys in the morning. I just got up to go to the bathroom again. I actually peed a lot this time. Oh, sorry, I'm starting the video. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it burns really, 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 really bad when I'm peeing. Like the worst pain I've ever felt down there. Um, I don't know why she said it could be because of the iodine they put on before the surgery, but it burns so bad. But I actually peed a good amount, which I'm really proud of. And I'm actually walking pretty good. But for some reason, once I get off the toilet, I get real lightheaded. And this time, she um, changed my gown. And I really thought I wasn't going to make it back to the bed because I was so lightheaded. And I don't really know what it's from, probably because I haven't really eaten anything. But I have absolutely no appetite. So, I'm making this... Uh, Oh, right here. Yeah, I'll update you guys later. I'm about to go right back to sleep. Y'all, I think my lip is getting bigger. Like, I must be allergic to something. Mm -hmm. Look at me. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. They gave me some steroid cream to put on here. But I've gone to the bathroom like four or five times all by not all by myself, but I've been able to get up and walk. I haven't been lightheaded the last two times. So I just ordered breakfast. And then after I eat, I should be good to go home. And I drained my drinks. And I go home tomorrow and I get the shower. But yeah, that's the update for now. I'm actually not as tired anymore. But if I don't take a pain pill, it hurts more to get up. But when I don't, it's not too bad to get up. Alright you guys, so it is 8.08 .08 in the morning, um, I'm pretty much waiting for my breakfast to come, then I pretty much get to go home after that, they're like in the process of discharging me, so yeah, that's pretty much that, and they pretty much told me everything I have to do, like walk four times a day for 15 minutes and then when I shower tomorrow take the uh, girdle thing off stuff like that but I will explain more when I get home
all right you guys so i am in my uncle's car the lady just wheeled me down so i am heading oh my god look at my lips so i am heading home now and i will see you guys and probably talk to you guys when i get home and yeah all right you guys my uncle's running into wawa i feel like it's getting bigger y'all but um i don't know what i'm saying it pretty much wasn't that bad of an experience like the pain really depends on the last time i took a pain medication so they gave me oxycodone and pretty much just my regular tylenol the oxy is every four hours and the tylenol is every six hours and she said there's really no problem with taking them like that because they're two completely different kind of pain medications so but y'all know me well, if y'all don't know me i'm gonna tell y'all i'm I, as much as i don't I, I don't mind taking pain medication but sometimes i just like to thug it out now i don't know about this pain now but usually my monthly by like the third day i stopped taking ma pain medications because i'm just like what's the point but yeah i got into my uncle's jeep just fine uh the nursing staff was so lovely except for the ones that were on the night shift not they weren't mean they was just making me worry they was asking questions like because i guess they're training nurses and in my head i'm like why are you training when you're doing surgery hold on my uncle's calling me but when i get home i may try to show you i obviously can't see my incisions myself um but yeah and it's really weird because they gave me a girdle thingy and there's a hole in it so you can sit down and pee through the hole it's kind of weird and um with the thing on your legs they wrapped your legs with like like a wrap like you wrap your ankle that you don't have to put on every time or you don't have to take it out when you take it off you don't have to put it back on but i'm probably going to because you know because obviously the longer you keep that stuff on the more the swelling is contained but i may have to wash the girdle tomorrow which is going to be so weird because then i can't put it back on but yeah because it is full of blood it's really nasty but yeah this is how it is just in case y'all guys want to have a tummy tuck or whatever i'm gonna be honest with you guys and i haven't even really had the chance to look at my stomach yet because like i said i've been a little lightheaded and i think that's obviously because i really haven't eaten but it's hard to eat when you don't have an appetite if you know what i mean but my uncle's getting me a coffee from wawa so i will eat something for lunch i don't know what yet well, I'm trying to have a big lunch. It's literally nine in the morning. I've been up all night and I really don't. I don't. I'm like, why is it only nine in the morning? So that's why I'm like, I can get a coffee now, and then for lunch I'm gonna try to eat something for real, for real. But I don't want this video to be too, too long because I do plan on filming like a week in the life after this just to kind of see how I heal. And yeah, I do have an appointment on Monday, so you guys will see that with the. Uh, I gotta breathe with the uh doctor like a post off appointment i'm also going to show you guys me like draining the drains if i have to this stuff like this and yeah i'm gonna give you all a jump scare all right y'all i am home now i got my wawa coffee i'm sitting in the uh lounge chair look at the baby she missed it, her mom um, but yeah, I'm sitting in the chair. Uh, I'm gonna be getting up in a few to go pee. Just to get like a few ounces out. That has to be something with surgery in general because that happened after my weight loss surgery. But yeah, I'm going to take me a nap and I'll probably update you guys later. Bye, y'all. Uh. Uh, Alright, you guys, it is 1 30. I took a little nap, y'all know. I just got up and went to the bathroom. This pain is bad. But yeah, I'm getting ready to have something small for lunch. Because, yeah, like I said, cause at this point, I don't think I'm going to have an appetite. Because I ain't been hungry at all, which you know that ain't me. So I'm going to have some mini Doritos. I got the mini Cool Ranch and the mini nachos. And I'm going to have a pe two pieces of cheese. And then, yeah, that's probably all I'm going to eat until dinner. And for dinner, I'm going to try to have some chili at least nothing's making me sick because i've seen some people have like nausea and stuff after the surgery so hopefully that doesn't happen to me 
but yeah just wanted to keep you guys updated i'm gonna put some ice on my lip after i uh eat my lunch and then i'm gonna have the rest of my coffee after 45 minutes because yeah i just remembered about my coffee but yeah, i'll see you guys later you guys so it is 3 43 i took too long to wait for my pill because i am in pain y'all but took my pain pill and you see i got vaseline all over my lips because i don't know hot mess but uh <clears throat> what else right, actually this time when i went to the bathroom it didn't come out too bad so i guess we're getting better in that aspect but then <clears throat> It's so funny, in the hospital, I feel like I was able to walk straight up. Now, I guess because it hurts, I'd be hunched down. Like, a, uh, you know, when you get older, you get that, like, hunchback. Uh, I can't even clear my throat. It's like, I think, I think I'm losing my voice. But yeah, I'm drinking water because I am dehydrated. But yeah, I think I'm going to try to open up my laptop and maybe watch a video or something. And I will talk to you guys. Later. You wanna kiss y'all look? Alright you guys, so I think I'm going to end the video here just because like I said, I'm going to film kind of like a week in my life after surgery. Pretty much I'm about to go eat some chili for dinner and then you know I'm going to sit there, probably go back to sleep, watch a few videos, wake up, have my snack, go back to sleep, take a pain pill, go back to sleep, and pee several times. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. Um, I got to take this off. They always leave these on. But yeah, um, the pain is kind of getting a little bad, but it's nothing I can't handle. Um, it is bleeding quite a lot, so I think we're going to try to clean it off a little bit. That's the thing about living in an apartment with no washer and dryer. She's like, oh, you can just wash it in the morning. With what? Because <laughs> it has to be back on me so I don't swell too much. And then it's like, it's not going to be dry. So we're going to try to wash it with some soap with a sponge. And yeah. Um, my drains ain't doing too bad. Um, I will drain them before I go to bed. But yeah. I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the notification bell to know when I post and share the video with your friends. And make sure you watch my other videos that talk about my surgery and see me prepare for my surgery. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Love you. Kiss.